the drawers of type that we're going to be working with are organized along the scheme uh, it's known as the California job case. Job case is just this uh, tray that organizes and holds a particular font. Um, originally there were essentially two cases, one for the minuscule letters and one for the capital letters and there were literally a, a lower and an upper case. So when you were setting type the minuscule letters would be in the lower case and the capital letters would be in the upper case and that's where these terms come from. Um, in the 19th century, uh, particularly in the U.S., starting in California, this sort of combined organization became widespread and it became the dominant uh, type case in uh, the United States and, and in the broader sort of English-speaking world. If you were looking at a type case from a different language, however, it would be organized differently. The case is designed to kind of optimize typesetting within a particular language. So in English, the largest by far is our lower case E, which you can in fact see right over here at the edge of the uh, screen. This is all my lower case E's um, because we use that more in English than any other letter. If this was another language that might be different in terms of which uh, compartments are larger or smaller or exactly where they are in the case. When folks were developing the keyboard for the typewriter that, that eventually became the keyboard for the computers we use today, they looked to printers cases to figure out what the sort of ideal arrangement of letter letters might be. So you're going to have one of these. Um, normally I have some laminated ones that we reuse in the press, but I'll have printouts for you to use and then to take with you um, or discard as you see fit um, to help you figure out where everything is when you're setting type.